Oh, God, it's so refreshing to be out of La Marine. I think we were in there a month, and yet yeah, it's become lockdown. Like, the last two weeks has been lockdown, so you're not supposed to move. But we could go shopping and stuff. But I think we were really prisoners of convenience. <laughs> we missed Everything that. was so convenient. Like, yeah. About five chandleries all within walking distance. At least three supermarkets. And the boulangerie. The boulangerie. A lot of cakes. Too many cakes. But I think you become trapped like that. And I think that's the same any Western life, you know, where it's comfortable. <laughs> you've got your fast internet, you've got your big TV. And... That's the other thing we have. Oh, we had wi internet, there. yeah, we had Wi-Fi, which we paid for, so... Cut we wanted, Wi-Fi. We wanted to uh, maximize that, but it yeah. really feels like you get bogged down into this little <laughs> box of comfortness and convenience. And but, you forget how refreshing it is to just get out. Yeah. Anyway, feeling so good. It's only 10 in the morning, but cheers, eh? and I'm a lounge singer. I'm Jamie and I fly aeroplanes. We decided to take a year off and go sailing. But thanks to COVID, now we spend our life on Jupiter. Welcome aboard and join us on our circumnavigation. these little guys I had to brush them off the hull and they just go straight back either onto me is it or onto the hull well yeah, they, I can see their legs like shrimp yeah they're little shrimps that's why I wear earplugs so they don't go in my ears mm. anyway, I'm gonna go wash off now finally a sunny day in Martinique man we've been here like six weeks I think we've only had like four or five sunny days in that time. Just been raining all the time. But today I'm going to go for a little dive. I just noticed yesterday I was cleaning under the, the hulls. Just noticed there's a sunken yacht <laughs> directly below us. And if I had been using Navionics charts, I would have seen that. But uh, I was using CMAP charts. And there's no user comments, you know, so yeah, I think I'm going to switch to Navionics as my primary soon. Just to have that user comment is uh, much more detailed. Anyway, let's go down there, see what it is. It was nice to be finally back in the water, but diving on a wreck that is a similar type of boat to what I call home makes you realize just how vulnerable you are with all my worldly possessions on board.
days around, but they they also told us we cannot anchor. So we come up this way now to anchor. Okay. Uh, how many times do you, do you stay here? Yesterday we come. One night. Yeah. trouble the police just said that we had to move apparently this is a marine park not allowed to anchor so it's okay we can just go up here about a mile and we're and we're good so they had video cameras running and recording everything it's okay. We can cooperate. Hey, stop. So it seemed we were not going anywhere fast. This is the last shot ever recorded on Princess's iPhone 10. I set it up on a tripod to film Princess here as she got in the water to check on the anchor. Unfortunately, a gust of wind blew it in. So Princess's first job was to recover her beloved iPhone. Thankfully, with just a little more pulling, the bommy let the anchor chain go. Princess did a fantastic job of capturing this, even with the deep sorrow of the loss of her iPhone. day the anchor was stuck around a bommy so we had to figure out how to pull that up princess was going to film that so she was going to go back in the water with a scuba gear and film that 
and I was filming her getting back in the water with the iPhone, her iPhone 10. And the tripod fell over and the iPhone went into eight meters of seawater. So she quickly got down there to pick it up, but uh, it was off and now we've got it in a bowl of rice, hopefully. There's a very, very small chance, but hopefully it'll work again one day. These iPhones are only waterproof, they say water resistant to one meter. I don't know how even one meter can be resistant, but anyway, yeah, eight meters is uh, a bit more than that. So, not a great day here in Martinique. I think we're in a nice anchorage right here. Um, it's fairly flat, a little bit of current, but we're behind this cute little island. It's lovely. Hopefully we're allowed to stay here. And Fort de France, which is the capital of Martinique, is over there behind it. We'll have to go over there and buy a new iPhone, I think, because that was one of our main cameras. Princess knows it was an accident, but I know she's not happy with me right now. Well, we've come to Fort de France again to go shopping, because I think we're going to leave here soon. We've got to get up to Antigua. So it's only half an hour trip across from where we were anchored. But there was a big navy vessel parked or anchored out in the bay and we we're thinking, good, are they stopping boats from moving? And we saw other boats moving, so we thought, okay, let's move. So we've come to Fort de France, so we can go to the supermarket. As soon as we get here, not sure if you can see, but a police boat come out and is harassing uh, that white monohull over there. I don't know what they want. So I guess we have to sit here and wait, see if they're gonna harass us. So, you know, there's, I think we've got everything set, like we've got our forms filled out to go shopping. Otherwise it's 135 euro fine each. Uh, I don't know what else we, see, we've been told we can't move the boat, but that's our transport, that's, that's our car. There's no other way we can get to the supermarket. It's ridiculous. Anyway, let's hopefully they will bugger off and we'll, uh, can go shopping. Meanwhile, Princess is making you some videos. Say hi. Why hide and say hi? Weirdo. Been locked down too long. I'm worried about it. Lockdown in a foreign country when you don't speak the language can be difficult. It's hard to tell if we are doing the right thing. Anyway, we made it to the shops and back without being hassled. Although there seemed to be a new security guard at the dinghy dock. Security guard, perhaps pigeon, or garbage disposal. Before, 
Up next on Life on Jupiter, we make our way to the northern port of St. Pierre, where we get a PCR, we check out, and we have an awesome sail up to the island of Antigua. <laughs> <laughs> 